just 7 o'clock, and breaking news, police say five people are dead after a quadruple murder-suicide in Spanish Fork. Uh, five people dead inside a home, and police say it is this family. Uh, the, the shooter, 34-year-old Joshua Boren, and the victims are 32-year-old Kelly Boren there, and their children, 7-year-old Jaden Boren and 5-year-old Haley Boren. And the fifth person found dead in the home is Kelly's mother, 55-year-old Marie King. And these are photos from their Facebook page. Uh, investigators have been uh, looking at this last night. The call came in about uh, 11 o'clock. And uh, we're getting ready to have a news conference here, show you the news conference. And uh, we're taking a live camera here that we're waiting for the police chief to start the news conference. We're supposed to uh, start here at 7 o'clock. That's right. Police chief is uh, Steve Adams, Spanish, Spanish Fork Police Department. They were called to the home about 11 o'clock last night. They got, they got a phone call from the employer of Joshua um, Boren saying that he hadn't come to work. They were concerned. So police did what they call a welfare check. They went to the home. Um, and when they got to the home, what they found was quite disturbing. Yeah, they uh, looked through the window. They say they saw blood on the floor, empty shell casings. Uh, they went inside. Initially, they found the body of the 55-year-old woman, uh, Marie. And uh, then they went to a bedroom, and that's where they found uh, the four other uh, individuals who had been killed. That's right. Uh, they've been at the scene again since 11 o'clock last night, overnight, and, and already coming to these conclusions uh, that he was the shooter. So uh, we've had Roxanne Bainuku down on the scene for us this morning, gathering new information. And Roxanne, we're now waiting for the news conference to start. We are. Uh, the police chief for Spanish Fork City is about to speak to us. Uh, everyone's just kind of assembling, getting ready to hear some of the information in this, in this tragedy that's happened here in Spanish Fork. All right, Roxanne, you were out on the scene uh, just a little while ago. Uh, what has been happening there? So at this point, the area of the home is still cordoned off with police tape. There are investigators still doing some of their work. Uh, this, you know, of course, they got called out at 11 o'clock last night. They got to the house and were able to see that the lights were on. There were vehicles in the driveway. They didn't know exactly what had happened until they looked into a window and they saw that there was blood on the carpet and shell casings. That's what led them inside the house. Once they got inside the house, police said they found a massive amount of blood leading up the stairs to the second floor. And it's once they got up to that second floor that they made the grim discovery. So through the night, investigators have been on the scene. At this point, the state medical examiner's office is ready to take custody of those bodies. And at this point, they'll be conducting an autopsy to find the exact cause of death. But police have been able to tell us that all of the, all of the people in this case did suffer gunshot wounds. Okay, so you're at the police station, and it's very close to the home, isn't it? It is. It's actually right across the street. If you're familiar at all with Spanish Fork, um, the Spanish Fork Police Station is across the street one direction from the home. Across the street, the other direction from the home is Spanish Fork High School. So it's nestled right in, in the heart of Spanish Fork, right in a very busy area. And so we are now across the street at the Spanish Fork Police Department waiting for the police chief to address us with the latest information on what's happened. Now, police in their uh, news release earlier said that there apparently have been some marital problems. Yeah, that's, we don't know any specifics about what kind of problems they had, but police have been able to confirm that the couple had been having some sort of marital problems. Police have looked through the home, and at this point they say they've not been able to find any kind of a suicide note at this point, but a suicide is exactly what they're calling this. They say that Joshua Boren killed his family members and then killed himself. Okay, and uh, you were in the neighborhood, and other than the police activity, you said it was kind of quiet, that nobody was up and around, but, it, but the yeah. police have to know if somebody heard gunshots. I mean, that's a lot of gunshots to, to kill a whole family. It is, and we're hoping to learn more information when the police chief speaks to us about that. But, you know, this, uh, we don't know what time this happened. All we know is that Joshua Bourne did not show up for work at 10 o'clock. His shift was to start at 10 o'clock p.m., and his employer, apparently, or someone at his work, tried to get a hold of him by phone, wasn't able to do that, and that's when it set off some red flags, and, and for some reason they decided to contact police and have them go to the home and check. That's what set off this whole chain of events. So at this point, we don't know what time this event occurred, if it occurred earlier in the day, if it occurred you know, near the time of when police got there. That's something that we're hoping to learn as we go throughout this morning. And, and I'm wondering right now, did anyone on the outside know that uh, there were potential problems, perhaps the employer, because uh, an hour late for work, you don't usually call the police. Exactly. I said the same thing. If, you know, if an employee is an hour late for work, it is, 
It is interesting that um, an employer would immediately think to call police. It, it appears that it was no secret that the two were having some sort of marital problems. But as to whether something of this nature could happen or something this dangerous could happen, this deadly, no one knows at this point if, if that's the case. Okay, we understand that the chief is going to be coming out any second now, Roxanne, so uh, we'll uh, hopefully hear what he has to say. I mean, we, they really released a, a pretty detailed new, um, news release for 